that show a disparity in various air graphic. Oh, is that Pokemon? Who is this? Angel was born with a mole, or what's medically called a congenital nevus. It covered half his body. It also put him at high risk for malignant melanoma. Um, the traditional treatment was to excise all of these and replace them with skin grafts, um, which has not yielded very good results. Um, I had some experience with um, skin expanders um, from a variety of applications, including breast reconstruction. And, um, Plastic surgeon Dr. Kian Samimi frequently uses tissue expansion for breast reconstruction for women who've had mastectomies. Angel's condition is rare and not easy to treat, but this technique should help him look better and shouldn't hurt as much. The old way of treating these was to completely remove all this here and take skin grafts from himself and replace the skin with skin grafts, which led to significant scarring and significant contractures around areas of joints because the skin graft never has the same thickness as his own skin. Plus, the areas where the skin graft come from can cause quite a bit of scarring and um, um, have a not nice cosmetic appearance. Um, and it's a lot more painful than this process here. How it works, a balloon-like device is surgically placed under the skin. Um, this is a silicone shell with an attached tubing and a port. This implant is impl uh, placed underneath the skin, sometimes underneath muscle. Uh, the port is placed underneath sk the skin also. And then um, in weekly intervals, the patient uh, comes in and a needle is inserted through the skin into this port and salt water, saline, is injected. Uh, we inject as much as the patient can tolerate in each session and for example this one holds about 200 cc's and we could place about 30 or 40 cc's in each session. Dr. Samimi says since he first began the tissue expansion on Angel two years ago, more than half of the mole has been removed. Angel. Angel. This shows a side view of the expander that's fully expanded here. Um, and as you see, the baby was still fairly small then, but was unable to lay on his back during that period. Um, another view here with the expander fully expanded. We actually had moved the skin down to um, cover the area. The idea for tissue expansion comes from pregnant women and how their skin stretches. Pregnancy is a great tissue expander. Um, also other areas where patients would or people would develop rapidly enlarging tumors that led to, to stretching of the skin uh, stirred interest in this process. Also native um, cultures, African cultures, Women used to all stretch the skin of the neck or the lips because it was a beauty um, sign. And those were probably the first um, experiments or the first experiences in tissue expansion. And the stretched skin offers a near perfect match of color and texture. The main conceptual difference between a skin graft is, and tissue expansion is that a skin graft really only transfers skin while a tissue expander can stretch any tissue, including skin, subcutaneous fat, muscle, even nerves have been um, stretched with this technique to then to be lengthened and to be transferred. What it will never completely replace skin grafting, but Dr. Samimi says it's successfully used for repairing scars from burns, and it's also very popular in breast reconstruction. Most commonly at the time of the initial mastectomy underneath the muscle and the skin and then three weeks out the patient comes in and we use a special device which is this one here um, which will locate the port because I cannot feel this underneath the skin and the arrows will light up. There we go. There. And then I mark the location on the skin and I insert a needle through the skin into this port and gradually fill this one here. This is meant to be eventually replaced with a permanent implant, 
which I have a small one here, a silicone implant, um, uh, which requires another operation. It will be several years before Angel's treatments completed. Still, been a lifesaver for his rare condition. And Dr. Samimi says we're just beginning to see other applications for its use in the future. We have used it in reconstruction of even muscle tissue and reconstruction of the abdominal wall to create tissues that are otherwise really only replaceable with um, artificial um, materials which carry a large number of problems with.